Good morning, my dear student. On the behalf of KTM College Nasik and Department of Chemistry of this college, I am Dr. S. R. Lavde. Welcome you to the lecture on polarographic analysis. Student, in previous lecture we discussed factors affecting the nature of polarographic wave. We also solved some numericals based on calculation of concentration of electroactive species using diffusion current. Calculation of diffusion current when concentration is known. We also determine the diffusion coefficient of electroactive species, and we also determine the number of electron involved in redox reaction by using a Ilpo equation. Student, in today's lecture, we discuss the applications of polarographic methods of analysis, and here we know that polarography. It is a linear potential scan voltammetric method of qualitative and quantitative analysis performed in a quiescent analyte solution using polarized dropping mercury working electrode and non-polarized pool of mercury as a counter electrode. Therefore, both qualitative as well as quantitative analysis is possible in polarographic analysis. Qualitative analysis is related with the Identification of electroactive species that undergo reduction at dropping mercury electrode and quantitative analysis is determination of amount of that electroactive material which is get reduced at dropping mercury electrode. The applications of polarography first application is qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis of a electroactive species. In polarographic analysis, the result is obtained in the form of polarogram. Polarogram is a plot of or a plot of a cathodic current measured in microampere versus a applied potential. Applied potential. And a safe safe curve is obtained when analyte undergo reduction at dropping mercury The curve is like this, and this curve consisting of three different sections. First section A to B is a section of residual current, B to C is a section of diffusion current, and C to D is a section of limiting current. Now, quantitative analysis in polarography is done by using a half wave potential. On a polarographic wave, the diffusion current is determined by difference between a residual current and limiting current. And here, at half of the diffusion current, whatever the potential that is called as E1 half or half wave potential. This E1 half or half wave potential is the identity of the species that undergo reduction at the optimal period. Student, we know that each metallic species undergo reduction at its own potential. That is called as standard reduction potential of that species. And this standard reduction potential is given in the EMF series for different type of metallic species. Here, in polarographic analysis, metallic species is reduced at dropping mercury electrode. Therefore, this half wave potential is related with the reduction potential of that analyte species and it is little bit affected by the presence of different types of supporting electrolyte. Therefore, half wave potential experimentally determined is matched with the theoretical value for identification of the electroactive species that undergo reduction at dropping mercury electrode. Therefore, in polarographic analysis, half wave potential is the identity, identity of the electroactive species, electroactive species that undergo that undergo Reduction at dropping mercury electrode. Dropping mercury electrode. 
Therefore, here half year potential is nearly equal to the standard reduction potential. Standard reduction potential potential of the metallic species. And we can directly utilize this standard reduction potential for identification purpose. But this even half is little bit affected by supporting electrolyte and therefore here experimentally obtained half wave potential value for specific analyte is matched with the theoretical value for identification purpose. Therefore qualitative analysis in polarography is done on the basis of half wave potential that is a potential at half of the diffusion current that is a potential at which analyte undergo reduction at dropping mercury electrode and that is the identity of the material. Today we will discuss the quantitative analysis in polarography. Quantitative analysis in polarography means determination of quantitative analysis in polarography. Quantitative analysis is related with the determination of amount of material that undergo reduction at dropping mercury electrode. Student, we know that the result in polarographic analysis is obtained in the form of polarogram. That is a plot of cathodic current generated because of the reduction of analyte spaces at dropping mercury electrode versus applied potential. In a polarographic analysis, analyte solution is taken in a polarographic set with suitable supporting electrolyte and that solution is electrolyte. When, solution, when analyte space is present in the solution undergo reduction, then and then only we have this polarographic wave on a polarogram. Therefore, polarogram obtained because of the reduction of analyte spaces and on polarogram a diffusion current is obtained by a difference between or by subtracting a residual current from the limiting current. Diffusion current which is obtained from the polarogram that is actually the reduction current because of the reduction of analyte at dropping mercury electrode and therefore this is directly proportional to the concentration of the substance present in a sample solution or present in a polarographic cell. Therefore diffusion current Diffusion current is, is the cathodic current, cathodic current obtained because of, because of reduction of, reduction of an analyte at dropping mercury electrode. And when analyte undergo reduction, then we have a polarogram. And this diffusion current ID is directly proportional to concentration of the electroactive species or a species that undergo reduction at dropping mercury electrode. In this case, diffusion current determined by experimentally that is put into ELCO equation and for determination of concentration of analyte. Actually the quantitative analysis in polarographic method is a comparative method. That means in this case we can determine the concentration of sample by comparing the concentration of standard. That means here in polarography we have to run two analysis one for sample and another for standard and in both cases the diffusion current is recorded and that diffusion current is, is equal to 607 into m into d raised to half into m raised to 2 by 3 into t raised to 1 by 6 into c when we analyze two sample solution containing same analyte, at that time number of electron and diffusion coefficient for that analyte species is constant. If we utilize same dropping mercury electrode, then 
capillary characteristic that is m raised to 2 by 3 into t raised to 1 by 6. This product is constant for a fixed dropping mercury vapor. Therefore, here if DME is fixed and analyte is fixed, then this product, this is again a constant. Therefore, this total product becomes a constant and therefore we can write here IV for sample is equal to, diffusion current for sample is equal to constant into concentration of sample. Similar diffusion current for standard is equal to constant into concentration of standard. If we divide equation 1 by equation 2, then we have, we have ID Cs, Cx is equal to IDx upon IDs into concentration of standard. Therefore, concentration of standard, if it is known, then diffusion current of sample is known, diffusion current of standard is known, then we can find out the concentration of sample in a polar analysis, and that is a quantitative analysis. Therefore, quantitative analysis in polarography is a comparative method and therefore we can determine it by using a suitable standard solution. That means standard solution of analyte. Student, we will discuss the next application of polarography that is the determination of dissolved oxygen in a sample solution. First application that is a determination of Dissolved oxygen in sample solution. We know that in, in polarity analysis, dissolved oxygen present in the sample solution that interfere in polarity analysis. That means dissolved oxygen, if it is reduced at dropping mercury electrode, the diffusion current is increases. That is the diffusion current because of reduction of oxygen is added into the diffusion current of analyte and therefore it is essential to remove the dissolved oxygen from the analyte solution before polarographic analysis and that we are doing by bubbling the nitrogen gas in the analyte solution but this difficulty we can easily utilize for determination of dissolved oxygen in water sample we know that oxygen is reducible Oxygen is reducible at dropping mercury electrode to a of peroxide state, peroxide state, and oxide state, oxide state at minus 0.05 volt and minus 0.90 volt versus versus saturated calorie electrode and therefore here here dissolved oxygen plus 2H plus plus 2 electron and this gives initially the peroxide ion that is a twice or that is a H2O2 and this will be takes place at minus 0.05 volt. Similarly, this H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide or peroxide state is further reduced to a oxide state that is a twice H2O and this will be taking place at minus 0.90 volt. Therefore, here if dissolved oxygen is present in a water sample or in a sample solution, then we have two wave. One wave is at minus 0.05 volt and another polarographic wave is at minus 0 0.90 volt. Then we have that polarograph in this fashion. That means here, in this case, this is a reduction to peroxide and after that a reduction to oxide. Therefore, here this first reaction O2 plus twice H plus plus 2 electron gives H2O2 and this is the second that is H2O2 plus 2 electron plus 2H plus gives H2O. 
twice H2O. Therefore, here this will be taking place, this reduction is taking place at minus 0.05 volt and this is taking place at minus 0.90 volt. Therefore, here either we can determine the diffusion current in sta second stage of reduction or first stage of reduction for determination of diesel oxygen in a sample solution. Therefore, here we can take a diffusion current during reduction up to peroxide for determination of concentration of oxygen or we can take the diffusion current in a stage of reduction to oxide. Both diffusion currents are added to ID. Therefore, here ID of this step or ID of this step is taken for quantitative determination of analyte. And similarly, by using eco equation, we can determine the amount of diesel oxygen present in water sample or present in sample solution by reducing that sample at dropping mercury electrode. Then we have two wave, one for reduction to oxide state and another for reduction to peroxide state. We can use diffusion current of any one for determination of concentration of diesel oxygen. Students, so, this is the next application of political planning that is the simultaneous determination of two or more metal ions present in the solution. That is the fourth application, simultaneous. Simultaneous determination of determination of two or more metals, more metals in sample solution. Student, we know that in polarography, if analyte undergo reduction and dropping mercury electrode, then we have a we have on a polarogram that is called as polarographic wave. If there is single ion or single reducible species, then we have a single wave. If sample solution contains more than two reducible species and if we reduce those by using dropping mercury electrode, then we have a different wave for different analytes. If those analytes are differs widely in their reduction potential. But when two or more analytes have a same reduction potential, then we have only single polarograph wave consisting of diffusion current which is equal to the sum of the reduction of the two species. But if analyte solution containing two or more metal ions and those differ wide in their reduction potential, then each metal ion reduces at its own potential value and we have a particular wave for that particular metallic species and we can simultaneously determine those ions using that polarogram. Suppose for example we have a mixture of copper 2 plus plus cadmium 2 plus plus and Z2 plus. Now we have to determine simultaneously these three metal ions. Definitely we can say that we have three different wave for this three different metal ions if those are reduced at their own reduction potential and their reduction potential is differs widely. But in this case we have four wave for reduction of these three analyte and this polarogram is like this. In this case we have four wave that is two wave because of the reduction of First wave for reduction of copper 2 plus 2 copper, copper 2 plus 2 copper plus 1, second copper plus 1 to copper 0 or metallic copper, then third is cadmium 2 plus 2 cadmium and fourth for zinc 2 plus 2 zinc. In this case here we have 2 wave for copper. Copper 
that reduces in two step. First is cupric ion to cuprous ion, cuprous ion to copper, cadmium directly reduced to cadmium metal, and zinc directly reduced to zinc metal. Then we have five. Sorry, we have four wave for reduction of this three anion. And this reduction will be takes place at minus 0.04 volt. That is you will have can do. This reduction will be takes place at minus 0.22 volt. This reduction will takes place at minus minus 0.65 volt. And this will be takes place at minus sorry 1.0 volt. What's the saturated calorie in it? Therefore here. We can use the diffusion current of a respective ion for determination of concentration of that ion. Suppose for determination of concentration of copper, we can use diffusion current of this reduction step or of this reduction step. In this case, we can determine residual current and limiting current. Therefore, limiting current of this copper two plus reduction. Is a residual current for copper to plus ion reduction. This is a limiting. Uh, this is a residual current for determination of concentration of Z cadmium two plus. That is ID for this. That means limiting current is a residual current, and that residual current is considered for calculation of diffusion current of each ion. And that diffusion current will directly utilize for Determination of concentration of the anode. But if two metal ions, suppose for example, zinc two plus that will be reduces at minus of one point zero volt, and there is another metal ion that again reduces at minus one point zero one volt. Then we does not have two wave. We directly have single wave. That means here reduction of this ion and this ion. Taking place at same value, the diffusion current is the sum of the diffusion current because of the reduction of two anion, and and at that time it does not determine two metals simultaneously. Therefore, for simultaneous determination of two or more metal ions, each metal ion must be reduced at its own potential value, and we have a particular value for this reduction process. Student, with this we stop here. We can continue the applications of this polarographic analysis in next lecture. Thank you very much.